may be taking the Nazca mummies more seriously, finally. Uh, let's talk about that in a general Nazca mummy update. So get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, this was actually sent to me by Nico. So thank you, Nico. I appreciate that. I wouldn't have seen this otherwise. Uh, this appears to be uh, the uh, Ministry of Culture in Peru addressing uh, uh, Congress. And I, I love it. This is, this is huge. Uh, and there is a, a easy dub version of it, an AI dub version of it. It's, you know, it's a little dry. It's a little dry. But, um, you know, there is a really interesting, uh, some really interesting comments here by Gonzalo Chavez. So let's go over them. He says, it's intriguing to observe the Peruvian Congress's interest in allocating additional funds for scientific research into the unidentified non-human bodies presented in the Mexican UFO hearings. This initiative reflects a growing curiosity and seriousness in the examination of unexplained phenomena. Uh, yeah, so they're actually funding uh, research into the study of, of these mummies. Uh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Moreover, the proposal to establish a museum dedicated to these findings signifies a significant step towards public education and engagement. The potential of this venture as a tourist attraction, coupled with the emphasis on the preservation of these bodies, underscores the importance of this, of this discovery. And absolutely, it could be a huge tourist attraction. Uh, so, you know, if that is the motivating factor for the preservation and study of these bodies, then I'll take it. I'll take it, guys. The global discourse on UFOs is evolving, and it's noteworthy that these developments are occurring independent of mainstream media coverage or advocacy on platforms like UFO Twitter or reporting from major reporters. Sad but true. The recent statements by a congressman regarding the plans for this project highlight uh, the global nature of the U UAP mystery. And if you're inclined, I will I will link to this uh, this presentation. Continuing with our agenda, I remind you, fellow congressmen, that in the reports, I, I'm not going to play it. It's it, it is kind of dry, but it is really exciting that uh, uh, Peru might be taking these bodies more seriously. Now we'll see because there are indications that the Ministry of Culture of Peru may be part of the cover up. Uh, so, you know, time will tell how sincere they are about investigating these bodies, but fingers crossed, this is exciting. Gonzalo also has this intriguing tweet. He says the university professors at the University of Ica Gonzaga that own the non-human biologics believe, yeah, and I, I love how biologics is now the, what we call them, right? After David Grush, um, uh, that own the non-human biologics believe they are an intelligent earth-based species more than likely subterranean in the intelligent evolution of the reptile now you know that's all possible and i've speculated on that too could these beings have evolved here on earth from reptiles well totally possible however that is a huge huge gap in the fossil record now we find missing links all the time and new species. So it's not out of the realms of possibility that that could happen, especially for, you know, bones as tiny as those would be. Uh, you know, how long would those last? How many of them would be found, uh, et cetera. But still, that's a massive, massive gap in the fossil record. So I tend not to believe that. I believe these are, um, you know, alien hybrids or created by non-humans. Uh, but that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But the, here's the really intriguing thing that Gonzago says. Uh, the uh, professors think that they may have been, you know, evolved here on Earth. They also think they can find living ones if given the funds and allowed to explore the cave systems. Wow. So there could be some scientists exploring caves looking for aliens. Or it could just all be a ploy to get some funding. I, I, I don't know. It's early days yet. It's early days. But, I mean, there's going to be, hopefully, some movies based on scientists looking for aliens in caves. Uh, I, ticket sold right here, guys. Ticket sold. But even better if it is a documentary about scientists actually finding 
these beings. And here's uh, an interesting segment about uh, what they have to say, uh, what, what the findings are for the substance coating many of these bodies. We have found cadmium chloride on the surface of these specimens. Actually, the specimens were obviously covered with cadmium chloride and diatomaceous earth. As far as I understand, cadmium chloride is not found at all in nature. It needs to be acidized, extracted, then transformed into a soluble form into cadmium chloride. It also needs to be purified for sure. It is a complicated procedure. We have found cadmium. So there is a complicated procedure, uh, you know, so if they were evolved reptiles here on Earth, they would have to be highly, highly technological. And again, we would probably see signs of that technology uh, going back through history. Now, maybe that was covered up. Uh, always possible, always possible. But again, I lean toward a more, uh, you know, non-Earth based uh, solution to the mystery. And here's Thierry Dumont talking about uh, uh, information from Mario, the Tomb Raider, uh, who may have found a three-eyed uh, skull. That's pretty cool. I want to see it. I want to see it, Mario. I tend to trust Mario a lot more than I do Paul, the other Tomb Raider. Uh, remember that crazy video I showed you with the you know fighting mantis beings and stuff like that? Now, that's an awfully elaborate hoax for a Tomb Raider to do. If that was a hoax and they weren't really fighting Mantis people, which, you know, seems unlikely, um, then that seems to have been, would have had to have been a funded hoax. Maybe a deliberate piece of dis disinformation put out by the Ministry of Culture of Peru. Possibly. Just throwing that out there. I don't see any other likely explanation for Paul, uh, the Tomb Raider, if that's who created that video. Uh, to have uh, put that out there, you know, you know, because that throws everything in that video into question, right? Uh, including the pyramid and the crazy handbag. Um, you know, again, they, I don't think he would have fabricated that handbag or even that pyramid. Uh, could it have been something the Ministry of Culture of Peru had lying around uh, and they, they wanted to include in this disinformation video? Uh, you know, so I don't know. You know, it's almost it's almost more likely to think that that video was legit. Uh, but uh, that was a crazy video, guys. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Tomb Raiders finding living beings in these tombs or a tomb where uh, the, the Nazca mummies uh, were found, supposedly, and even fighting one of them. Crazy. Uh, again, it it's probably fake. But if it was fake. Who faked it and why? Because uh, it would have taken some money to, to put that together. Um, you know, and, and what would be the intent? What would be the purpose? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get that hoax, if that's what it was. I, I Somebody explained that to me. But I tend to trust Mario uh, in his information. So um, he's the one that's provided most of the, the bodies, as far as I understand it, to Thierry Jamon after Thierry had a falling out with Paul because of his dramatic tendencies. And I think that probably means uh, there was some BS in what Paul was, was doing. Okay, this is subtitle, so I will read it out loud. Uh, is surely within their inhabitants, it is a hypothesis in another Stephanie. Are you certain there are other uncovered rooms and that the Kyrian geese? Oh my God. Okay. The, 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 the translation is so bad. Uh, and the, pre the presumed site and not elsewhere on one or more sites, not necessarily in the same sector. Then according to what these geese Gaillard told us, then this particular Mario told us that there was one side of the second sarcophagus, three doors, which you are still sealed closed. And to this day, they had not dared to open its doors because he said they spotted a kind of stone, which seems to protrude from the ceiling and which could perhaps be a security system, etc. So they have not yet explored the whole site. Far from it, they tell me they only touched because perhaps barely 10% of this famous site. Did they find these relics on the alleged site? At least that's what he tells me. And I don't see uh, why not, why, why we should question there, uh, yeah, especially since Mario explained to me that they have been coming for 10 years. Uh, since 2006, he had already met 
Uh, it's the sacred place of the Incas on the coast inside, which he had found a hand of three must not put 51 species of humanoid skull head with three eyes. This material has unfortunately been sold uh, 10 years ago. Uh, but yeah, so uh, apparently some private collector uh, has a three-eyed skull that may in fact be a genuine non-human skull. So, I mean, it'd be lovely if the private collector at the very least would allow scientists to study it and would release some pictures and videos of this amazing artifact to determine if it is legitimate or not. Because, uh, yeah, three-eyed skull, guys, it's, it's pretty juicy. That's pretty juicy. I wonder what it sold for. Do you think that's a legit skull or not? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. In other news, possibly related to the Nazca mummies, a weird... Uh, Stone Cube has been found in Peru with some very interesting writing on it. Check this out, guys. Uh, look at that crazy writing on this crazy stone. We don't know what the writing is. It resembles uh, some writing from Puma Punca. Uh, I mean, that closely resembles that, right? Uh, so... Um, you know, what, what does it mean? What, what is the purpose of this cube? We don't know. Uh, I think it was found in Ambo. Uh, it also vaguely resemble, re resembles the writing of Sumeria. So let me know what you think about this crazy cube that was found um, in that region. And uh, Wanto Uka Cave Ambo, where the clay cube with unknown writing was supposedly discovered. That's a that's, uh, good map. That's the entrance. And <laughs> that's the extant bats. Uh, so a map of one of these caves. Fascinating, guys. I, w I would love to explore one of these caves. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, yeah. Oh, and here's a good reminder. There are ritual dolls. You know, uh, a lot of people like to debunk the mummies as ritual dolls called, cobbled together from body parts. Um, well, there are ritual dolls, and that's what they look like. This fella here. Um, it looks to me like that's a representation of the real thing, uh, this fella right here. So, uh, but, you know, let me know what you think. Meanwhile, Neil deGrasse Tyson seems to be slowly, possibly coming around uh, to the reality of the Nazca beings. Is there evidence that there are aliens? No, there's well, no, not evidence that would convince a skeptical scientist. No. Okay. No, there are people holding their hand up, swearing to tell the truth in Congress. Yes. That's not how we establish objective truths in science. Uh, we don't walk into a scientific conference and say, I swear this is true, but give me, give me a book I can swear on. That's not how we do this. You bring out the evidence. But they did this in Mexico. They brought it, put the aliens on display in Congress. I don't, if we have aliens, yes. that's what they should do if they're trying to say we've got them in a locked box. Now, in Mexico, the next step is you take tissue samples and send it to other labs. Yeah. It's not just because one person and one lab says something is true. That's not what establishes the moving frontier of the objective truths of science. Listen, so, any I scientist who looks at the universe, they say... The yeah, okay, so there, there he goes, an unfortunate uh, uh, screen grab of Neil. Uh, but he seems to be holding the Mexican UFO hearing up as an example of what the U.S. should do. He's not deriding it, he's not eye-rolling it, he's not sneering at it. He's saying that's a great example, and now we need more research done on these beings. Uh, I'm encouraged by this interview, but let me know what you think. In the comments below. This apparently did come out of the Japanese hearing, I think. That is what I have heard. I have not seen that confirmed. Um, you know, they didn't, I mean, there's no other information about them uh, discussing the mummies, so I don't know uh, how they would have slipped that in, but um, th that is what I have heard, that this, this uh, scan came from uh, the Japanese uh, UFO hearing uh, or the researchers that were part of it. So, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I, I got. I got to say that that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, neat. Love it. Love it. So yeah, the stuff is going on, and we are going to get some answers on these most amazing uh, specimens, and that may in fact constitute UFO disclosure. 
I, I love it, guys. This is, this is such a huge story. It needs to get way more play than it is getting. So share this video, and I hope you guys are having a great holiday season and that you had a great Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure to appreciate it. Oh, and uh, give a, a like to these sites that are sharing this information because not enough of uh, people are sharing this information. Uh, Trigactyls is the one channel that's sharing this, and Nazca Mummies is another channel. And as we just saw, uh, Gonzago is also uh, 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 on this. So, um, yeah, so, so three people to keep an eye on. And uh, thank you very much, Nico, uh, for sharing uh, Gonzago with me because I hadn't seen him before. Uh, but yeah, yeah, like, subscribe, uh, smash the uh, bell to be notified of future videos. Buy some merch at the merch store. Become a channel member because channel members are rock stars. And I really appreciate you guys' support, guys. Thank you. Meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos to check out on the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road signing out.